not surprising he has an all his violent past. And Phil is all in another We can only hope the trouble is just side. Now, the prophet Why? ranting about the end of the world. No! Of course. Do you know Dual Brochure? I understand he's good with light armor. If you need to learn how to use it. version of the TARDIS because if you're kept up with the series you've got the St. John's Ambulance sign right here which wasn't on this one because this one was made uh, about two years ago but it does have the uh, police telephone free for use in public sign all that stuff police works and it does have time and water damage in space which is T-A-R-D-I-S TARDIS so basically when you get inside, you won't actually be able to turn it on, it'll say set pilot, so just open this door, walk down this long hallway up these stairs and in, walk past all these display cases and into the auxiliary control room. You'll have change desktop theme which is the main control room's layout. That is the second theme I have it on. You can have, it doesn't originally come with that one, but I like that one because it's much bigger and it, it looks more like the TARDIS in the program. This is a handbrake which doesn't make the TARDIS shake about. I have that on. Um, and set pilot, you have to press this. I'm already a pilot so it obviously won't do anything. And then there's the emergency temporal shift which is only for an emergency if you crash in oblivion or something like that. Um, besides the control room, actually, TARDIS is like a house. It's, it's massive. It's insane. Um, we have like, the guest rooms up here. You know, all the kind of beds, closets, you know, like clutter, all that kind of stuff. We just have a random altar of spell making which doesn't actually work. And these casts, you know, if you've ever seen the, the series, the TARDIS has these everywhere. I guess you can store stuff in them, but it might be hard to rec recognize which one you've actually put stuff in because they all look the exact same. <laughs> and there's a swimming pool inside the library. Oh, that's no, not inside the library, sorry. Complete randoms. But uh, it's quite fine. And the ceiling is made out of wood. You know? Just some random pots. Some more beds and rooms and stuff. And that. So if you do have companions, this could be a very useful kind of possible home. Uh, through here. What do we have through here? Oh, we have the insanely long hallway. 
which I'm not sure what it leads to again, but it does have quite an interesting thing inside it. Could get lost quite easily in this thing. This goes to the library. Which sh should be flooded yet. <laughs> because in serious Oh, what is it? I'm not sure, but the sun pill gets thrown into the library, which makes it like flooded. <laughs> I guess you could spend your time picking up all these books and putting them back, but I guess it's just to kind of fit it in with the series itself. And down here we have some very interesting thing. It's kind of strange, but oh well. Um, yep. <laughs> Quite cool. Around the window, I'm not sure what it goes to. Oh, whoa. Well, this is the first desktop theme. Um, I had the second one loaded when I first came out. I pre personally, I prefer the second one, but this is dead small, and if you like everything together, then you should choose this one. Right, just to get back to where I was, it's quite complicated. Yep. Run. Yes, that's right. Close that door. The galley in here. Dining room, obviously. Just put some candles and some plates and stuff. And I've already been through that. And we have the work rooms. Which is basically like the master bedrooms and everything. Um, the kind of like major stuff, also spell making, random tube, all this stuff. And I'll just come back up here. And if we go back to. This is a prison down here, which is quite cool. I'll, I'll let you see that yourself when you actually go download the mod if you choose to. <coughs> Sorry, I get cold. Okay, so when you set pilot, you'll get a number of spells. TARDIS capture, TARDIS companion, TARDIS mark 1, 2, 3, 4, and TARDIS relocate here. Basically, these marks choose to put them anywhere you want inside Cyrodiil, or I mean, I should, yeah, Cyrodiil, and um, then you go into the TARDIS and you select preset 1, it will go to wherever you put the TARDIS mark 1, if you preset 4, it will go to wherever you put mark 4. Relocate here is, it would just, um, it's pretty much just showing you the display of it. Um, to you. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, and it just chose to do it. Okay, it's not choosing to, I guess it's too close. But if you're far away, it'll, ch it'll teleport to it too. Now, press this button, start flying. You can choose from your presets. Okay, I'll go to Bravo. Bravo. 
and I'll choose the center of reveal. It's a small chance of it not working. Um, it's in the actual description of the mod. But it's always best to have it on because sometimes you don't do as what you want to. Um, you can go anywhere. You can, you can go to the Cinque Cities or you can go to anywhere like the north, east, south, and west. So if I go west, wait, I need to see what's your eyes first actually. Stand back, sir. Oh no. This is no place for you. <sighs> okay, well, we but are kind of sticky west, and this is something to do with the military. If you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, we'll just leave these guys to get out of Get out of here. We'll go north, and we'll go to. about this mod is um, this, the Taurus is actually a faction if uh, you kind of get it. It's like if you join the Thieves Guild you have, you know, rank and then next rank. So when you join, uh, when you activate the Taurus or set yourself as a pilot, you join this. And what's interesting is you can regenerate if you take too much damage. It's like if you've ever seen the program, if this doctor gets hurt, he'll regenerate into a new body. Well, it's the same for the mod. Um, I'll just pause it, I'll get into a fight and I'll get myself really low down in health and I'll show you what happens. Alright guys, I just got myself down to really low health and I just get instantly teleported inside. So um, I can't move. And I'm starting to glow, which is fun. I just glow once in a while. Wee. This is basically the regeneration process. Um, I think I got my HP down to like 10 or 15 points and that instantly gets teleported inside here. Whoa, I can change my appearance. Um, I'm not going to change anything, well I'll change my hair just to show uh, the mod works. I'll make myself have a ponytail just for running off that one actually. I'll make myself blind. Yes. Ah, there you go, guys. I am blind. <laughs> and... I should be... Yep, third incarnation. So, there you go. It's fun. Um, this book does tell you all the locations that you can go and it does tell you all about like the Helmatic Regulator and all that. If you choose to go east and then six, no five, we'll go east and then five and we'll go to the Dark Fisher just to show you the book is correct. <laughs> According to the book, we should be the Dark Fisher. Hi guys, this is the Dark Fisher. Um, I run that time, so I need to go. Thanks a lot for watching, and rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot.